Hey everybody, I'm Allie. In today's video, I'm sharing with you how I made this super cute diaper cake recently. In this video, I'm gonna go over the supplies that I used, the overall steps that I had in my head as far as how to create the diaper cake, and then you'll also get to follow along in my process. It did take me about two hours to make my diaper cake, so I cut out a lot of the unnecessary footage, and I also sped up the footage to make this tutorial a reasonable length to watch. So I'm sharing the tips and the techniques that I've learned after making over 20 different diaper cakes in my past. So you can actually check out the video that shows most of the, the diaper cake designs that I've made in wherever the link goes. When I had to make a diaper cake in the past, <laughs> sorry about my dog. <laughs> Somebody wants to be on camera. Okay, can you get out of the picture? When I made each of the diaper cakes in the past, I would use the internet and Pinterest to help me kind of develop my vision and overall goal of the project. But when it came time to creating, YouTube was my go-to resource to learn how to take that mental vision and turn it into a reality. So my goal with this video is to pay forward that value that I gained from YouTube and share with you and anyone on YouTube who's interested in trying their hand at making their own DIY hot air balloon diaper cake to give you the necessary inspiration and insight on how you can do it too. So you'll find all the links to the items that I mentioned in the description below. So with that, let's get into the game film. I don't exactly know what it's gonna look like in the end, but here's the insight. So knowing that I'm gonna make the hot air balloon, I need the balloon part. So the balloon part is this 16 inch paper lantern that's gonna be the top of the balloon. Then you have the supports coming down that are supposed to look like strings that hold the balloon on. So what I'm using is these, these are balloon sticks. I got this from the Dollar Tree, which was super exciting. So you get 12 balloon sticks in a package. Those are gonna be in the four corners of the basket of the hot air balloon. And then what I do is I take these boba straws. So they're like paper straw that has this pin stripe is you take the balloon sticks and you put them in the basket and then you use these straws to create the look of that pinstripe. So I will be gluing in the stick and then putting the straws on top, uh, but right now I'm uncertain about the basket. So let's talk about the basket. So both of these baskets also came from the Dollar Tree. This is a be organized storage basket, and this is just like a weave basket. Which basket I use in the eventual creation is gonna be dependent on which basket this fits into. So this is the bulk of the gift that I'm giving. This is a sound and sleep projector soother. So it's got a rechargeable battery, which I love, and then what it does is it's a night light to play some stars on the ceiling, but then it also has a soothing sound, and I am someone who loves a sleep machine. Soothing sounds, it's got white noise sounds, it's got a cry sensor. So I got it out of the packaging, goodness. So the point, basically the decision that I'm facing with these two baskets is which one is going to make the presentation of the primary gift better. What is this called? I also have this uh, 30 by 40, I guess maybe you can call it a receiving blanket. And all of the items, if I purchase them, I'll definitely be sure to include links and descriptions of everything that I'm mentioning on in the description below. And it's cute and it's green and it had what is, drafts. Seeing how I can make this a cute presentation of product. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. That's kind of cute. Uh, so I got the soothing machine on Amazon, and one of the things that you will see me doing is I'm gonna cut up this box and make sure that the charging cable and the information on the gift is lines the bottom of the basket so that the mom-to-be has all the information she needs on how what the heck this thing is in the first place and what all features it offers. Other than those supplies, the other things that I'm working on is these little white satin bow rib, uh, ribbon bows. Um, so these I purchased from Amazon when I made the original uh, example of this. So I plan to use the exact same ones. 
Uh, and it's a package of 25, I guess. But I only think I'm gonna use eight. So if you have, you don't have to purchase mini satin bows. You could probably make them yourselves, but I'm not trying to be that creative. I'm taking the shortcut. So next I have this collection of ribbon and I don't exactly have a full vision of what I'm gonna use. I kind of have some ideas. So I have this satin rat tail is what it's called. I may use that because I think it goes really nicely with the bows. So I, I, I'm thinking this is gonna be what I use. Whoops. Uh, because I think the white is gonna be a nice contrast to, hey, excuse you, the green. Uh, because I also have this baker's twine, the same color lime green and white from the Dollar Tree, but I just don't think it's gonna provide the contrast that I want. So we will see. And then I have this like, ribbon and then these colors this again is the Dollar Tree and this is basically what you could put on balloons uh, so I'm thinking I might do a combination of this yellowish greenish yellow and this blue and do like a big puff of curly ribbon stuff and then I've also got this what is this this is some burlap ribbon don't know what I'm gonna use with this I also have this ribbon that came with a gift that I got over Christmas and what I think this will be is you wrap diapers around the perimeter of the basket and then you put this ribbon over the diapers to hide the rubber band that's holding the diapers that are rolled up. So I may use this one, I may use this one. It's gonna, or maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll, I'll layer them. That kind of looks nice. I think I might, I may do that. I probably will do that now that I just saw it. Um, and then lastly, I got this decorative mesh. This is also from the Dollar Tree. And I just thought this might be nice to have some like, filler tool or I don't know. And then the other supplies you need is a glue gun. I've got my box of glue sticks. When it gets empty is when I know of restore or restock. These are finger protectors when you're using your hot glue gun. And then I've got my hot glue gun here. I'm actually just, this is a wet, it's a non-stick craft pad that I'm using to hold the hot glue gun on. And I need rib, rubber bands. That's kind of the gist of where my vision is. I hope that informs or gives you some kind of background and insight into how to do this. And with that, I'm just gonna get to creating. I'm gonna capture the process. So, enjoy. So I start off by rolling the diapers and securing each one with a rubber band. I'm not concerned that my rubber bands are colorful because they'll all be hidden in the end. So I usually pick up a variety bag from the Dollar Tree when I'm there grabbing supplies for other parts of the gift. So here I'm getting a sense of how many rolled diapers I need for each side of the basket. I actually ended up using the other basket in the end and I needed a total of six diapers for each long side, four diapers for each short, short side, and then I used another four diapers for each corner. So I used 24 diapers in total and I'm using the size two Mama Bear Amazon brand diapers, which I think they come out to be less than a quarter per diaper cost. So once I have all of the diapers rolled, I start considering what I'm going to do with the surplus diapers I have on hand. So I ended up using six more diapers for a horizontal bottom row that you'll see shortly. Uh, so I had 16 diapers left over that I was able to use to line the basket bottom. And that way the additional gifts that I bought were high enough to be able to be seen over the basket edge. So I cut out the details from the diaper package along with the packaging of the other gifts to make sure that the mom has all of the info she needs when the time comes for her to actually use the gifts and the supplies in the diaper cake. All right, so now I'm showing where I'm gonna glue each balloon stick into the corner of the basket. So I use that little plastic edge kind of as an anchor and I'm just gluing all four sticks that kind of create the support for the balloon portion.
Now I'm just making a little cardboard sleeve to corral all of those tags, the charging cord, and all the things that I wanna make sure the mom gets when she deconstructs the diaper cake so she knows what all she received. Here, I am not a fan of having any part of the plastic exposed. I just think it looks nicer in my opinion. So I'm using that decorative mesh to drape over the so each of the sides of the basket just so there's no exposed hard plastic in the final product. So I make a rubber band belt of sorts to hold all of the vertical rolled diapers in place. So I just take like four or five rubber bands and loop them through each other to make a chain. And then I connect both ends with one more rubber band and basically make a belt for the basket. So here's that horizontal row that I mentioned. I decided to add this at the bottom because the basket was six inches tall and the diapers that I was using for were about four inches tall. So this extra horizontal row at the bottom not only hides that last two inches of the basket, but it also helps to provide kind of a backstop for the vertical belt of rolled diapers. So they all line up neatly and stay lined up. So I snaked a piece of that satin ribbon through the center of each of those horizontal diapers, just so I could tie them all together and keep them all nicely lined. And here's that rubber band belt. I'm just stretching it over the top sticks and putting it along the basket. And now I'm inserting each rolled diaper to kind of create the diaper belt. Um, and I kind of do opposite sides to try to keep everything even. And so there you go, the bottom of the basket is done. All right, so next up we have the 16 inch diameter paper lantern. If I had known which basket I was going to use before I purchased the paper lantern, I would have chosen a 20 inch diameter, which is slightly wider than my basket, so the supports would bow, would not bow in. Um, but I didn't know in advance. So having the 16 inch lantern worked out fine with me, but if you'll be bothered by having those balloon sticks bow in a bit, you'll definitely want to take measurements and get the right size paper lantern that is just slightly larger so the balloon sticks don't have to bow in. So I just added those boba straws to cover each balloon stick and I glue the bottom of them to the basket so they kind of stay all the same height. And then I'm being very cautious here to attach each balloon stick leg to the same metal band so that the paper lantern kind of stays level. Um, I kind of failed a little bit. You'll see it's, it, it tips a little bit, but that's okay. Here, I decided to go with the green and white Baker's twine, So I, but it wasn't thick enough for my needs. So I'm braiding together four strands into one to make it a little bit thicker. Um, this definitely brought me back to my days of the woven friendship bracelets that I used to make in the 80s. So throw me a comment below if you also were someone who spent many hours knotting and braiding these bracelets back in the 80s because I was having some flashbacks. So there it is, that's the braided thicker version. And now what I'm doing is I'm adding a bow to the top of each one of those balloon sticks and then I'm sandwiching in that braided swag rope between the bow and the paper lantern and I'm using my hot glue. This is where those silicone finger protector come in really handy because I'm kind of just pushing my finger right into the, the hot glue. Um, and I find these to be really helpful. I actually keep these finger protectors in that same box with my glue sticks. So they're always kept together. And I always know that I have them on hand when I'm working with my glue gun. So I ended up using or having two swags on the long side of the basket. And then I did one swag between the two side legs. So all told, I used six white satin bows. And now I'm just adding the belt cover, the ribbon cover for the base. 
Um, I'm very mindful here not to glue the ribbon to the diapers because that might make them unusable and that's defeating the whole purpose. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just uh, folding the ribbon on itself. I'm gluing the ribbon to itself and anywhere where there might be some hot glue, I just add a little bit of saran wrap or plastic in between. And then I'm adding the second ribbon just to give it a little bit of layered look. And I will bring in some safety pins to help kind of keep that ribbon belt nice and tight and firm. And with all the leftover burlap, burlap ribbon, I just made a makeshift bow for the front. I added a white satin bow to the front of it. And here I am just kind of tightening up that belt so it's nice and kind of not droopy. I'm adding one of these white satin bows to each corner of the balloon just to give it a little bit more, you know, kind of extra flair. And now I'm just using those last bit of diapers to kind of stuff the opening so that the two gifts inside are nice and displayed. So here I'm taking the curling ribbon and I'm just making a big kind of bunch and this is to fill the lantern's bottom opening so it resembles fire. And so I just keep folding over the bunch on itself and creating like a little bundle, curling the ribbons. And then I will anchor this bundle to that metal frame that's holding the paper lantern open so that it's not hanging off the paper because I just am concerned it might be too heavy and the paper could tear. So I just keep Kind of finessing it, getting it the right length, getting it the right curly. And again, I use that handy finger protector to kind of push down the bunch and the hot glue on the metal frame. And then curl and trim as you want. So I decided I wanted to add a little movement to each of these legs because they were bowed out, trying to maybe distract the eye from the bending. So I just sandwiched these little curly ribbons in between the swag ribbon and the white satin bows. And then I ended up actually deciding to add a few. So I added a second set um, and then I cut these to kind of the size that I thought looked appropriate. Um, And that's it. That's the finished masterpiece. So if you have any questions on my process or if you need me to clarify on any step because I know I sped through the whole thing, uh, just drop me a comment below. I am happy to provide any insight or suggestions or assistance that I can. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot and it helps get my content shared with other crafters or people who are interested in making a diaper cake. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You'll find more crafting content, more organizing content, and I've got self-care content in the works. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in my next video.